Have you ever ridden a downright insane roller coaster, but then realized that little to no one ever talks about it? Well, this was my experience with Shivering Timbers, a world class roller coaster that has to be at one of the most remote amusement parks in the country. And here's my review of it Michigan's Adventure itself isn't the largest amusement park, and it's definitely not in the largest area. Its location, Muskegon, Michigan, has a population of just under 40,000 people, and other than the park itself, there are no other major destinations for thrill seekers in a decently large radius from here. And this is why I think that not many coaster enthusiasts make the trek up here unless it's their home park, or it's a part of a much larger road trip. Well, there is also the fact that Michigan's Adventure is clearly the least favorite trout on the pre-existing Cedar Fair chain before the merger and is very neglected by their owners, so... Anyways, Shivering Timbers is clearly the standout attraction at Michigan's Adventure. For starters, as you drive up to the park, all you see at first is this massive coaster that just towers above everything else. It's truly a magnificent sight to see. And for me, it just got me all the more amped to enter the park. Shivering Timbers, as mentioned before, is located at Michigan's Adventure, was built by Custom Coasters International, has a height of 122 feet, top speeds of 57 miles an hour, a length of 5,383 feet, and a duration of two and a half minutes. I do have to admit, it did let me down just ever so slightly, but that was just because of the roughness of the ride. Going into it, I had heard that some of the valleys of the ride were rough, but honestly, it was pretty bumpy during almost the entire second half, along with a few spots in the first half. However, this was my only real complaint with the ride, and if anything, it kind of just added to the ride's intensity. So thankfully, that was my only real complaint for the ride. That was the one and only negative, but now let's get into some of the positives. Let's get the obvious out of the way. This roller coaster has some of the most airtime out of any coaster that I've experienced, and I was out of my seat for what felt like the entire ride. Most of the airtime was floater airtime, however there were some ejector pops sprinkled into the duration of the layout. The sheer amount of airtime alone is incredible, but the non-restrictive PTC restraints just add onto the insane nature of the ride. Truly, when I say that this is a wooden B&M hyper, I mean it. Not only that, but I wasn't expecting the laterals of this ride to be as good as they were. The turnaround in the middle of the ride was absolutely insane, and there was not one time that I wasn't pinned to my left. But then, the laterals got even better on the final helix, which honestly felt like Raptor's double final helix in terms of intensity, and was easily one of my favorite parts of the ride. I genuinely can't believe that when people talk about this ride, they don't talk about that final helix, because yes, the airtime is great, but man, that was an incredible finale. Overall, Shivering Timbers is a really awesome ride and has easily become one of my favorite wooden roller coasters. Other than the roughness, this ride truly is perfect, and it's such a shame that it's at such a remote park like Michigan's Adventure. But then again, it is the best ride in the park. I will definitely have to give this coaster a total score of 9.5 out of 10. But what's your rating of this masterpiece? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.